Welcome to the Folks Learn. Today we will learn how to insert, delete, update, select an NYSQL. First, we will design a simple form to insert, update, select, delete customer data in NYSQL database.
we will use tab order to set order for all the control. The tab order is the order in which the tab key moves the input focus from one control to the next within a dialog box. Usually the tab order proceeds from left to right and from top to bottom in a dialog box. Each control has a tab stop property that determines whether a control receives input focus. You need to create a new database, then add a new table to the new database. You need to set customer ID column as a primary key and identity is true. Auto increment allows a unique number to be generated when a new record is inserted into a table. Very often we would like the value of the primary key field to be created automatically every time a new record is inserted. You need to create a data set, then add a customer table to the data set. The data set, which is an in-memory cache of data retrieved from a data source, is a major component of the ADO.NET architecture. The data set consists of a collection of data table objects that you can relate to each other with data relation objects. You can also enforce data integrity in the data set by using the unique constraint and foreign key constraint objects. We use the table adapter to insert, update, delete data. Table adapters provide communication between your application and a database. More specifically, a table adapter connects to a database, executes queries or stored procedures, and either returns a new data table populated with the return data or fills an existing data table with the return data. Table adapters are also used to send updated data from your application back to the database. Table adapters are created with a Datasset Designer inside of strongly typed data sets. You can create table adapters during creation of a new Datasset with the Data Source Configuration Wizard. You can also create table adapters in existing data sets with the Table Adapter Configuration Wizard, or by dragging database objects from Server Explorer, onto the Datasset Designer. While table adapters are designed with the Datasset Designer, the table adapter classes generated are not generated as nested classes of the data set. They are located in a separate namespace specific to each dataset.
you can see the connection string auto add in the config file. We always use connection string in forms that we design, but when you design a big software you should set the connection string for once and use it in many forms. In this method you use the name of the connection string instead of the connection string text. Every time you want to change the connection string just change the main connection string in the app config file. We will use LinQ to query data. The Language Integrated Query is a set of features introduced in Visual Studio 2008 that extends powerful query capabilities to the language syntax of C Sharp and Visual Basic. LinQ introduces standard, easily learned patterns for querying and updating data, and the technology can be extended to support potentially any kind of data store. Visual Studio includes LinQ provider assemblies that enable the use of LinQ with .NET Framework Collections. SQL Server Databases, ADO.NET Datasets, and XML Documents. Thank you for watching this video.